I'm here at Dolphin Quest Oahu at the Kahali Resort to learn about some research being done here, all for the protection and conservation of dolphins. Coming up after the break, I'll tell you all about it. Well, dolphins are known as one of the most intelligent mammals in the world. Now, efforts are being made right here in the islands to learn more about these aquatic creatures. That's right. KITV's Jordan Segundo joining us live this morning from Dolphin Quest Oahu. He's learning about some progress researchers have made studying dolphin health and behavior. Hey, Jordan. That's right, Dolphin Quest is not just a place where you can swim with the dolphins, it's also a place that's committed to the protection and conservation of these incredible marine mammals. And here to talk with me about some of the groundbreaking research being done is Dr. Andreas Fallman. Good morning, thank you for being here with us. You know, tell me a little bit about the research that you folks are doing here at Dolphin Quest in Hawaii. Good morning. Uh, yeah, some of the work that we're doing now is lung function studies. So it's similar to what you do when you go to doctor and do spirometry. So we can assess in, in non-invasive ways the health of the lungs of these animals. Wow, so I know you had a, a device uh, that you actually do this research with. Explain to the folks at home what this is and how is it used to collect the data on these dolphins here? Yeah, it's it's a device we call a pneumotachometer, but since I can hardly pronounce that, we call it a flow meter. So basically what we do is we assess the amount of flow that goes through this. We place this over the blowhole and we can assess the flow rate and then we can determine the volumes that are coming in and out of the animals. And we can also look at the gases, the oxygen and carbon dioxide. And this provides us non-invasive ways of assessing the lung health. Now this is also for, you know, you are doing the research on dolphins uh, under human care, but this research is also used to really uh, understand dolphins in the wild, right? Can you briefly explain that? Exactly. So these animals, they are healthy, we know their background, so they provide the baseline data for the animals in the wild, and then we can use this information to assess the health of different populations. So we can go to different places in the world, uh, study animals in the wild, and then we can say, well, this population is healthy, this one is not so healthy, and we can try to, to find out some of the reasons why. Fantastic. Well, sounds like very interesting stuff there. Now, if you'd like to learn more about some of the research being done here at Dolphin Quest, of course, you can visit their website, dolphinquest.com, or you can head over to kitv.com. We'll have this link up on the website. Let's send it back to you in the studio. Oh, well, looks like exciting work happening over there. Plus, we'll get a chance to see some of the dolphins as the sun comes up, I Can't hope. Wait. Can't wait. Maybe we'll get Jordan to jump inside. We'll see. We'll see if he'll... I'm told he might have his swimming, uh, swimming, swimming suit gear, with him, so... Okay. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Well, you have that to look forward to, ladies.